Hey everybody, uh, last update was uh, <coughs> Friday, but um, yeah, it's Sunday evening right now. I thought I've made quite a bit of progress, I think. I don't remember what the last video was about, actually. A whole weekend's a blur, but did a little bit yesterday. Um, did some today after I went sourcing this morning, and then um, did a little bit. It, it was actually over 90. It's 86 right now, but got a cool breeze coming here in the shade. It was over 90, so... Uh, do a little bit of work about a half hour since I start overheating go in the house do a little shipping and uh, cool off and come out and do a little bit more and then the past hour or so I've been kind of cranking through here um, yeah you Una seals kind of suck <laughs> that's the, the title of this update is uh, I did some Una seals last night or Friday night and they went in kind of easy but the ones in the barrels my arm is pretty strained right now trying to push those in. It's also doing it at awkward angles, so I couldn't work downwards. I had to kind of work from the side. But uh, they seem like best thing to slice bread for barrels, but I'm kind of leaning towards bulkhead fittings in the future. I don't care how much they cost. <coughs> um, yeah, that was a pain in the butt. But I got them in, so I'm gonna walk you through what we got done before I clean up and go shower. You can see I got pipe shavings in my hair. Little shout out to uh, Sadie out there. Uh, I mentioned in the last video I should be using my uh, ch chop saw. Well, I don't know why I didn't remember that because I, that's what I did last time in the last build. But yeah, I didn't go buy the stupid blade thing. I just used the chop saw to make all my cuts. But Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, walk you through what's gotten done so far. All right, in the sunset there, you can see kind of an overview of the... Uh, get my finger out there. The Dutch bucket first row, and then the top row being uh, getting ready to get set this next piece up. What I did end up doing is putting them up on bricks. I think I, I still have a brick to go there. To raise it up a couple inches because I was just too low I think to get that drainage gravity fed so let's start from here I think I already showed you this part Friday of the SOLs coming out of the uh, fish tanks into a two inch it's a half one and a half inch line to a two inch line I put uh, clean outs on both sides because this is the place where <coughs> Excuse me. If any solids are gonna accumulate, it's gonna be here between the fish tank and between the uh, the solids filter. So I put the cleanouts and I got this uh, Rob Bob. I guess that's his name, Australian who has a uh, aquaponics vlog and YouTube channel. I he's been my mentor in all this. I've been watching all his videos, but yeah, I got this. From him I would have never done it if I didn't see his so I can just take the caps off and blow a hose through there or pull a rag or a rag on a stick Simpson, Homer Simpson style so there's that and then here's the slows that suck all the solids off the bottom uh, that's kind of what it stands for solid lifting orifice I don't know but I still got to put a cap on the bottom with holes on it or I uh, might do it a little bit different. So, but that's it right there. The mistake, now here's the first mistake or hindsight is when I put the hole in for the uh, the slow here, I put it a little bit high, you know, thinking I wanted to get as much water here as possible, but the top of this, which could be a kind of overflow, is above the edge of the tank. So I'm gonna, and I probably should anyway, I'm probably gonna pipe in another over, maybe a three quarter or one inch overflow. I'll, I'll have it come in lower, pop up and have a, a strainer and have it, you know, just above this level. So if when rain or whatever gets in here and it overflows, you know, I might not put that into later, make that a 2.0 update. Same thing over here, that's in. So I might have to cut the pipe a little bit to put a cap on it. And I'm going to, I started filling it with water. Kind of to make sure that uh, 
and that water is not from a leak it's from when I brought the hose over here so but yeah I'm kind of making sure that the thing doesn't leak there but you know I want to fill it up and get a net and start scooping out all the the shavings and stuff that I got in there when I drilled so it comes from the slow and let me give you a bird's eye view it comes in the Y there and there's the other uh, clean out it comes into the side of this is the solid uh, radio filter and the bucket is screwed on the top here so what it does is when water comes up out of the pipe whatever direction it's swirling in it hits this bucket here and goes the opposite direction and that gives you time and lets the solids fall to the bottom and then clean water or cleaner water will uh, next exit out of here I still got to put a uh, drain in for when I need to clean it out I got fitting for a three-quarter inch and I'm kind of hemming a haw and a three-quarter inches is gonna be enough maybe I should make that a one inch drain kind of do a little research and kind of see what the consensus out there in the world is and then it flows into here flows into the T and down so that's why the water will all come up and this will be filled with uh, biomedia in which I got mine in so end of this video I'll kind of show you the Amazon package but yeah it will flow through the biomedia I'm gonna have air lines in here with a big air disc on the bottom that will bubble the water and keep the biomed moving kind of dancing around you know and then I'm gonna put a cap with holes drilled in here for a uh, that doesn't look two inch <laughs> for as a stranger so the little biomedia doesn't go floating down here and I might have to I don't think this is high enough if this is high enough I don't think any biomedia will get up in there so yeah and then it will flow down there supposedly cleaner cleaner water and let me adjust this a little bit that way I'm gonna have to put in some support for this still then it flows into the tank so see I drill drilled holes into the side there went over there for the from all the beds and let's see oh, there we go and I'll probably put an elbow there too once you get everything all situated and maybe a oops, maybe a 45 because I kind of wanted the water to go in there to kind of swirl this the, the uh, sump here a little bit and that will come in and go that way and then I'll have this one over here flowing that way so it kind of causes a swirl and then I got the hole I took the pipe away so the hole set there for a two inch pipe and the two inch pipe is going to come to the bottom right here with T's because I'll have an inch and a half here feeding into the T just kind of setting in there as it drains down into there and this will go keep going that way to the other beds I'm gonna have set up so that's it for today kind of taken early I have to get started on my shipping for the weekend shipping here I might have to adjust these buckets a little bit so I can get the pipe oops these are all just dry fitted right now I have to uh, glue or screw or whatever so, and this is the buckets spacing a uh, foot apart on center. I'm thinking that's good enough. I don't know. I don't think I need to go wider. And then they'll have a bucket down here in between the two. So when I have my feed, I've said this before, but I'll have a feed here going to this bucket, a feed going between the buckets to the lower bucket, and repeat, rinse, wash whatever down the row and I'm thinking I might just put uh, the feed right on this and have the valve right here and have it feed in with a little tube into there all the way down and I'll have you know this one will be standing up this one will be flat going out all the way down so I'm almost at that point I think tomorrow I'm gonna go pick up a pump and um, 
Yeah, I'm going to go check the hydroponic store, see if they have a pump the size I want. I want to get it close to 2,000 gallons per hour. It sounds high. I want as high as I can in here. So whatever I add into in the future, it will fit. I'll have valves. I start to do the input input uh, lines into here from the tank or from the sump and everything. And I'll have a, a relief valve off the pump so I can relieve some of the pressure off that 2,000 gallons per hour. You know, if I don't need it right away. But, you know, the plan is I'm going to have these beds here, two rows of buckets. I'm going to have two rows of media beds or DWC. I don't know what's going over there yet, but something will be over there. And then we're debating, or we're going to do it. I don't know if it's going to be tied to this system or another one, but we're going to put vertical um, towers for probably strawberries up, you know, underneath the windows and alongside the windows. So we have a whole strawberry wall going there. At least I hope. I love strawberries. So there's where we're at. I said tomorrow I'll probably get the pump and and it may just maybe just uh, put a hose to it and see how you know do a dry or not a dry one, a wet run of everything. You know, start gluing where I need to and see how it all flows before I get too much more done. And I also have to make something for the manifold. I'm going to have a manifold here to feed the different systems. So I don't know if I'm going to put a board right there or what to attach it to. So, yeah, we'll worry about that. Anyway, that's right. Let's go into the office and I'll show you that uh, K1 Media. Hey, we're in the office. All you resellers, merch people, this is where we usually hang out. All you aquaponic people, gardeners. Yeah, this is my office. A little messy right now. But this came today for, from Amazon. It was supposed to be here yesterday. But as I told you, I think, in the last video, I ordered... Um, it was $15 a gallon of K1 Media, and it's, uh, you know, I'm a Prime member, so it's free shipping, and I ordered three, see, I ordered three gallons to go over the $35 mark so I can get it the next day, and I didn't get the next day, so I'm not happy with that. So, that's what a gallon's worth of K1 Media, Biomedia looks like. Looks, uh, <laughs> looks like the poly bags I uh, ship out of. So let's go ahead and pop one in. This is the first time I've ordered this stuff. That's, that's a K1 Biomedia. And this whole bag is filled with them. So what we're going to do is, in that second barrel, is uh, when we get going, we're going to dump these in there. And I'm sure this is not enough. Well, it may be because um, when I sized everything, I've seen a lot of people do one or even two of the IBC totes, which is 200 and, let's say 250 gallons um, ballpark. And they're running a five gallon bucket as their biomedia filter or maybe a 20 gallon tote at the most. And I'm running a... Uh, Blah, 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 40. I think it's 40 gallon is the barrel. But, I mean, that's not a lot, um, three bags of this. So I'll probably get more. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to check with the hydroponic store and see if they have it there and if it's any cheaper. If it's not, I'll probably order another three or four bags um, down the road. But what it is, it just bubbles in the water there and a little microbe bacteria stick on it and make this their home. And they eat the ammonia that the fish pee and poop. And they eat it and they turn it into nitrite, I think it is. And then they turn the nitrite into nitrate. And that's what we want. Nitrate is not really harmful to the fish unless it gets too high up there for too long. But that's what the plants like to eat. And so either from here or the same thing happens in the Dutch buckets that I have filled with lava rock or in the meaty bed filled with lava rock or clay balls but the microbes 
start forming on there and that those beds also become a micro filter so science yeah anyway I'm exhausted I'm gonna go take a shower and then uh, oh, and then get some food and then start on my shipping maybe clean this office a little bit I don't know I'm debating on taking tomorrow break off anything out there except for get going and getting parts. I just need a day's rest. Um, it's been real sore from working out there and I have a lot of shipping to do so I'll probably be doing that most of the time but knowing me I'll probably still get out there and do something um, at least in the evening when it cools off. Here my hair's a mess. Anyway that's it for uh, this update. Um, catch you in a couple days hopefully after I get a lot more done and uh, I don't know be happy be prosperous I'll talk to everybody later bye